I'm Jude and welcome to Fire Mountain Gems and Beads Video Studio. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use a variety of tools to create these dome-shaped earrings. So to begin, I have my 24 gauge copper sheet metal and I've got my circle for my pattern drawn out. And I'm just going to be using some regular uh, office stick glue to um, attach the paper to my pattern to the metal. If you're going to be doing a really intricate cutout design, I would recommend using uh, rubber cement glue because it holds for so much longer. But for this short project, this would be just fine. So I've got my glue on there and now I'm ready to go over here to the bench pin and start to cut the piece out. And before I start that, I need my other glasses. So now I'm ready to cut out the notch. for the jewel tool. All right, so I've cut out my circle. And as you can see, I haven't done a perfect job, but that's not gonna make much difference because I'm gonna pull out the jewel tool and I'm gonna be able to quickly get a nice round circle. You can do this another way with by hand sanding, but the jewel tool does it much faster. And so I've got my sanding disc on it, and I'm gonna, there we go. And what's nice about the jewel tool is you can look down and see what you're working on. So you can see I'm getting a nice, it's getting down there. that I've got this nice round smooth but now it's time to take care of that notch and get it smoothed out the jewel tool works great on outside surfaces but for the notches and stuff, I might need to use files. So I'm going to take a file that's rounded on one side and I'm going to just hold it down there and until it 
until I get a nice smooth curve in there. A lot of times I'll take off the paper if it hasn't already fallen, fallen off so I can start seeing what I'm working with without the paper distracting me. It doesn't take too much to get a nice smooth edge on there. Okay, so there we have it. That's a nice smooth edge and I've taken the sharp points off and I'm ready to punch my hole in the side here for my ear wire. And I'm gonna do it just about there. And now I'm ready to curve my metal. And so I'm going to be using the dapping tools to achieve that. Now we're ready to get into the dapping phase. For more information on the tools for dapping, please see firemountaingems.com resource center. So now we're ready for the dapping phase and what I'm going to be showing you is, is how to gradually da um, dap on your metal piece so that you get a nice curve to it. Because if you, if you try to go too quickly, it's just going to crumple up into a bent piece of metal. So what you're going to do is slowly hammer on it. You're going to slowly go from large to small. And I'm going to start with the, this wooden uh, dapping uh, tool and because this one is so so large I'm just going to go with this one right here and I'm going to be using this hammer I like this hammer because it's tapered it has a smaller head to it so that I can see what I'm working on as opposed to something larger like this I think it's just a preference on how people what people like to use so I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and slowly go around because the metal is going to want to bend where, where the cutout is. So I'm going to be really watching that to make sure I get a nice smooth dome. So. So you can see this is, it's very slightly curved. Now I'm going to go to the next smaller size and I'm going to do the same thing. to the next one. And as you can see, if we're getting that curve, it's, and it's a little lumpy, but that's all right, because the smaller we go, the more smooth it'll be. I'm going to be using the metal one here, and I'm, this is the largest size on this one, but we have a whole bunch of other graduated sizes. And I'm also going to start out with the larger um, dapping piece and go down inside. If I was going to go to, with using a smaller one, I would be gradually going down in the sizes. So, as 
So now I'm, this is the largest one and it fits in there. And what I'm doing is I'm going to start at the center slowly and then I'm going to go out to the edges and go around and again I'm really watching on this spot here because that's where it's going to really want to bend and I don't want any bends in this. And it, it'll, what it'll want to do is slide around in there and that's okay you just have to work it back to the spot that you want. And the more, the more that you dap it the easier it's going to be because you're going to be fit, it'll start conforming to the shape of the the hole. And you can see how it, it really wants to bend right there. So I'm really going to work on that part right there. Just be patient with this. You can't rush it. And sometimes it wants to jump out. And the way you can tell that you're almost done is because it starts fitting in nicely into the curve and it doesn't pop out as much. <laughs> what, I, what I'm looking at is how the sides of the metal piece are starting to fit in there and I want it to look nice and s smooth, not wrinkled. That looks pretty close. Okay, so now you can see that I've got that curve on there. So it's curving and getting a nice shape to it. And I might want to, you're never quite ever satisfied, but I think just a little bit more. There we go. So you can see that curve on there. So now we're going to be ready to texture the metal piece here so it looks more it'll start looking like this so now we're getting ready to texture so this is the the disc without just that I just dapped and what I have on my jewel tool here is a coarse sanding disc and all I'm going to do is 
tighten that on there and I'm going to move it around to get that texture and I you don't have to go super fast on the speed and I'm just going to move it around take a look at it and I kind of check it out so I'm getting that And what I'm, what I'm going for is just a rough brush cut on there, but I want it all over. And the Joel tool, the Joel tool makes it look easy because I can see through it what I'm doing. I think that's about the texture I want on there. <laughs> so now we're going to I'm going to remove the jewel tool here and get that out of the way and we're going to we're almost done. We all we're going to do is put on the ear wire and roll over the the edge here to make it an earring. All right, so now we're just about re ready to finish up our earring here. We've got it all textured and buffed up. And now what I'm going to do is cut about a six inch length of um, copper wire, 20 gauge. And I'm going to slip it into the hole that I've already got punched out and I'm going to fold it up like that and I want enough here on this one side to make sure I have enough to work with and I'm folding it over. I'm taking my chain nose pliers and holding that down there and I'm going to wrap my wire around it and try to get it nice and neat. There you go. Doesn't have to be wrapped too many times. That's, I usually do it about three times. And I'm going to Clip off that little tail there. And get it so it's looking nice and neat. So we've got that on there. And then I'm, I'm going to take my round nose pliers and I'm going to go to the other side there and what I'm going to do is roll roll this right from the edge here and roll it over just so that we have some a lip there to keep our wire in there so we don't lose our earring. And so what I have there is a little a little lip there. see it. Yeah, and the marks on the inside aren't going to be showing because it's going to be up against your body there. But if you, if you don't like that look, you can always take um, and sand it a little if you want. But for right now, we're going to get concentrate on this ear wire here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pair of uh, step pliers and 
use that largest curve there and just just so I get a nice neat looking curve and get it in there and there we have it and all I have to do now is trim off that tail and there we have it a, an earring and we're ready to go just slides right in there just like that Thanks for joining me, and for more projects like this, come see us at firemountaingems.com.